back this is basic how to and today we are going to talk about starting a snowblower a little bit of background for this a um, few years ago my wife and I bought a home and at the time I was walking maintenance so I'd be gone every snowstorm and my wife would be left with needing to clear the yard so she was a little bit uncomfortable with getting a snowblower started I took to YouTube, I tried finding some videos that could be helpful, and I didn't see many out there. So, with that said, I'm hoping this fills the niche and it's helpful. Okay, let's take a look at an engine. This engine came off from a snowblower, so it's going to be very similar to what you might see on your unit. Let's take a look at the controls that is on it. And then we'll be able to see the same controls on the two snow blowers behind me and the difference in configuration. And it should help to give an idea of where things are at and what they do. So, as we probably know, motors run off gas. Um, we have a gas tank up here. We'll want to check, make sure we have good fresh gas in here that it's the correct gas for your snowblower. What I mean by that is whether it's, whether it's straight gas or mixed with oil. This is a four stroke engine. You can see it has a dipstick. So the lubrication, the oil goes down into a pan. So with that said, we'd want to check our oil height, little hatch, uh, hatching, cross hatching and um, high low lines in the dipstick make sure you have oil if not top it off with the correct oil for your snowblower um, if it was a two stroke it would have no dipstick and your cap would probably say something like um, 50 to 1 40 to 1 and that's just saying that that's the ratio of oil that are mixed into the gas I have a video on mixing gas if you're interested that's in the link description. Moving forward, we'll want to make sure the gas is getting to the engine. A lot of snow blowers will have a shut off like you see here. This particular shut off is open when the handle is in line with the hose and it's closed when it's across. Also there's a little etched off uh, into the side of this uh, shut off. So we can see it's in the off position. Now it's in the on. So make sure your gas is on. Might take a little trial and error, but we'll see a few different configurations on these two snow blowers. Next, let's pump our primer a couple of times. Sometimes the snow blower will say, or the engine will say, I mean, three pumps, couple pumps. That gets gas into the bowl, makes make sure that it's nice and filled. Then moving over here, we have a choke lever. So the choke basically blocks the, some of the airflow going into the engine that allows the engine to suck up more gas. So it richens up the fuel air mixture and delivers more gas to the engine. That's important when you're starting a uh, cold engine to get it to start. Cold gas doesn't aerosolize as well as warm gas. So we start with it choked down. We get it to start. You might even need to play with it. It might need to be a partial choke if it's not that cold, depending on your engine. And then we let it run for a minute. We'll see the engine begin to choke and run wet with um, a thicker looking exhaust coming out. You'll hear that when we start it. And that's when we slowly turn it off. You'll usually see an arrow on your choke. You turn it in the direction of the arrow to engage and to take the choke off and to have the airflow wide open, we turn opposite the arrow to open it up. Next lever is the throttle, low RPM, high RPM, Usually you start an engine about three quarter RPM and then you boost it up to do your walk. We have our recoil to 
actually let's go back a little bit there's one other switch we'll need to flip and that would be the ignition and that's just simply allowing power to get to your spark plug your ignition will either be a switch somewhere on the side of the engine or it might be extended up to your handlebars uh, on this engine it was extended up to the handlebars so I don't have the shut off uh, switch to show you but that's something you'll need to turn on to make sure you have power then we pull over the engine using the recoil or an electric start this model did have a electric start so you'd plug in an extension cord from the wall and you would press this button and it would do exactly the same thing as the recoil then you could disconnect your cord and you're on your way Okay, now we took a look at an engine setting up on the desk separate. Now let's take a look at these two engines on both of these snow blowers. So the first thing we'll want to do is check our gas. What we're checking for first off is that the tank is full. It is. We're also checking that it's fresh gas less than six months old ideally if you have any doubt of that try replacing the gas if it's giving you a hard time getting started then with this being a four stroke it does receive its lubrication from oil in the bottom so it's a good idea to check make sure the oil is where it's supposed to be it is now we're going to come over here and flip on our key on this motor it's located right on the side again some might be right up on the top um, control panel the next thing we're going to be looking at over on this side we have a lever for the gas we'll want to make sure it's on which it is that also might be located under your gas tank if we look here, we have the choke lever, and it can go in the run position or the start side. So when you're starting a cold engine, it's best to be starting it uh, on the start or uh, choke engaged side. That's going to richen up your fuel air mixture and aid with starting when the engine is cold. As it warms up, we will want to back it off to the other side, the one side in this case. Over here we have the throttle. It's best to start an engine at about half throttle, maybe three quarter, three quarters of the way up. So now that we have everything flipped that needs to be flipped, we simply come over and give the recoil a pull okay we just started the engine and it already sounds like it's up to temp it sounds like it's running wet. the engine is a little labored the smoke is a little cloudy so we're going to back off the choke and let's bring our throttle up to a full operating speed now we would be ready to do our walk with the blower when you're done, we're going to back our throttle down about halfway and let the engine idle for a moment. After that, we turn off the key. Okay, so that was the four stroke. A little bit of a larger snowblower. We move over here. We have a smaller two stroke. One of the indications of the, it being a two stroke and the biggest difference that you need to know as an operator is it requires you to mix gas and oil so if you look at the cap it says 50 to 1 that's 50 parts gas to one part oil there's a bunch of videos out on youtube if you want to look how to mix in fact i made a video on mixing gas and i cover a bunch of different things about gas in that video that's in the link description or the video description if you're interested so anyhow, we want to make sure that we have plenty of gas. Again, we do. And I know that this is fresh and mixed with oil properly. 
So now it's a few less controls over here. We do have a primer ball that we didn't have in the last one. So we're going to give it a few pumps that's getting some gas to the carburetor and engine. We're turning on the ignition that again will allow a spark um, to form at the spark plug. And we have a choke lever. So we're going to flip the choke on. Now I don't see a throttle and I also don't see a shut off for the gas. So I'm guessing this snowblower doesn't have one. Actually, I know it doesn't. The throttle is automatic and the gas is always on. So now all that is left is to give it a pull. Okay, now that we have started the blower, we're going to give it a few minutes to warm up. The blower has now warmed up. You'll notice that the engine almost sounds labored and the exhaust is kind of cloudy. So we're going to back off the choke. You may need to fully back off your choke or back it off halfway. At this point, you'll notice the motor is sounding a lot cleaner and the exhaust is now clear. We let the motor idle for a minute before turning off and then we shut it down. Okay, hope that was helpful. That's how you start a snowblower.